Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this lesson, we will talk about uh, uh, the methods in which clients interact with uh, the database server or uh, the mode in which the database server would function can be configured. Okay, so uh, a database server can be configured in two modes. One is uh, dedicated server mode or shared server mode. Okay, I'll explain what is a dedicated server mode and what is a shared server mode. Okay, so let's take dedicated server mode for example. Okay, so when an Oracle data server runs, okay, let's say this is the host for the data server and uh, it when it runs like we saw it runs system global area right it's there in the memory and now <coughs> this user wants to connect to the database so through network right let's say it's connected to the network so through network it will approach the server okay so the server will open a dedicated process a dedicated server process for this client process <coughs> okay so let me just call it server process one and this will interact with the SGA got it let me repeat Okay, so when a user wants to initiate connection to the database, it connects to the server, okay, and the server opens a, dedic a dedicated process for it and that interacts with the server. Okay, now let's just say another user. Okay wants to connect so what will happen okay so now this user wants to connect so what will happen is the server will open another shared server process process 2 okay so this will connect here and then this will interact with the SGA okay so this is dedicated server mode okay the advantage is this the performance could be more and let's just imagine see when a connection has its own dedicated process it can store its user specific details SQL private SQL area and everything it can be stored here okay so memory management would be much simpler here like this connection it will store its own in uh, uh, session specific details here okay and the main brain uh, of Oracle which is SGA uh, all it has to do is just process the data and these guys will monitor their own session information okay but the disadvantage is just imagine like there are like thousands of users coming okay so it has to open a server dedicated server process for each connections coming okay so the question is can your host handle it in most of the uh, businesses it's basically uh, uh, you know it depends upon the planning and the comp and uh, uh, the affordability and also the need right uh, I've seen uh, uh, you know it's 2013 now uh, I've seen most of the companies they would uh, configure their uh, servers so powerful so that uh, they can run on dedicated server mode okay but 
you know some non production environment or in you know, some companies you know they would say let me go ahead with shared server architecture which i will explain in the next slide so right now um, the thing is uh, when multiple connections come right and for each connection the data base server would open a dedicated server process in its memory right for each connection and that's how the interaction will happen this is in dedicated server mode now let's go to shared server mode okay so what happens here okay so let's do the same thing so a connection comes from client 1 okay connection comes here okay so here when we configure the server in shared server mode it changes the way it runs okay so SGA will be SGA okay and instead of dedicated server process it opens couple of shared server processes okay and these server processes are limited in number so that you know the host box can handle the number of processes <coughs> okay it also opens a different set of processors processes called dispatcher process okay and then <coughs> it assigns a area in SGA for <coughs> for request and for response so what happens is when a user connection comes it goes to the dispatcher dispatcher contacts the request queue okay let's say if the user wants to do something read data so that read data will be submitted as a request to the request queue okay and any shared server process that which is free it picks up the request then it interacts with the SGA and brings the result and puts the result to the response from response okay let me not join that it goes to the this process and it goes to the client okay so imagine we have controlled the number of shared server processes that open but we introduce some extra maintenance work because these processes have to be shared by the number of clients by the clients okay the reason is the reason we do this is because our host cannot handle more processes like it cannot provide individual I mean uh, each client with its own dedicated process so in this case if client 2 comes okay so what will happen is client 2 uh, will also I'm sorry yeah client 2 will also contact the dispatcher okay and client 2's request let's say uh, let me call the client 1's request as uh, in, in the request queue as first request and this will be request number 2 okay so the next shared server which is free it will pick pick it up and it will do the same thing as shared server 1 and it routes the result to here so even if you have like in this case I put like 6 shared server process so even if you have like 60 clients here you know it will they will multiplex and use these 
shared servers. So the number of processes won't go up. Okay, but at the expense of some additional maintenance work. Okay, so this is the shared server concept. Thank you for watching.